Hello, why am I in Venice? Because Venice is a beautiful town. And Venice is also the internal code name of a Pensando PSM. The church in my background is Santa Maria della Salute, which the Venetian erected in prayer for good health. I hope in this difficult time this is of good hope. To discuss the PSM, today I have here with me Vipin Jane, who is the CTO of Pensando. Thank you, Vipin. Hi everyone, thank you, Silvano. It is good to join you in this video blog to provide an overview of PSM. A Pensando cluster is composed of distributed services cards that are installed directly on the servers and a control plane consisting of multiple PSM control nodes. Like most of the distributed systems, PSM nodes run consensus protocol and elects one node as a leader for configuration consistency. A minimum of three PSM nodes is recommended for high availability in a production deployment. A PSM control plane can manage thousands of distributed service cards. The PSM cluster provides tenant-aware policy management and infrastructure functions for the following features. Security features such as micro-segmentation, firewall, and encryption. Software-defined networking implementation of Layer 2, Layer 3, and overlay networks. Layer 4 to Layer 7 services such as load balancing, security groups, and Layer 7 application identification. Telemetry and analytics for interfaces, flows, and application statistics. Troubleshooting features such as bidirectional packet capture, flow logs, IPFIX export, and drop statistics. And of course, many more features to come in the future. All these features can be managed using a web UI or programmatically using REST APIs. The REST APIs allows for third-party orchestration and management systems to automate services from a logically central point. Now let's discuss a little bit about PSM's architecture. PSM is designed as a cloud-native application consisting of a set of microservices. As a true cloud-native application, these microservices are themselves stateless with all the state maintained in the distributed database or state store within the cluster. Various microservices communicate with each other and with the DSCs using gRPC over TLS securely. The microservices leverage service discovery to avoid any fixed placement of services within the nodes. PSM services use gRPC client load balancing for a scale-out control plane implementation. PSM nodes have no dependencies with respect to the network and storage infrastructure. They require IP connectivity and local storage. PSM uses a declarative configuration model. This means user intent is constantly reconciled with the present status to achieve the desired state. Let's now consider the main building blocks of PSM, which is layered into four logical units. Starting from the bottom, the cluster management layer is responsible for managing lifecycle of all DSCs and PSM nodes within the cluster. It includes discovery, admission, decommission, upgrades, recovery, and health monitoring of all the components. This layer securely brings all components together and allows PSM users to see cohesive view of the system from a logically central point. Next up is the microservices infrastructure layer that implements application scheduling. It leverages mature open source components along with some home homegrown abstractions for boilerplate logic within these services. The components of this layer includes distributed data store, service scheduler, container runtime, and RPC layer. Next up to the infrastructure layer is the PSM applications layer. This is a very crucial component of PSM. This layer implements core business logic for all user visible functions, such as policy management service, data collection service, API service, search service, and so on. Policy management applications implement resource allocation, policy distribution, programming the data path, and tracking the status of configured objects. Policy management applications also are responsible for intent reconciliation within the cluster. 
Data collection services implement data ingestion and indexing of all data generated within the cluster. The data collected by these services includes metrics, logs, events and alerts, packet captures, and most importantly, collecting data for troubleshooting and technical support within the system. Search service implements indexing and querying of the data collected for various purposes within the system. Search can be used to look up on configuration and runtime data. The topmost layer is the user authentication and authorization layer. This layer implements the API entry point within the system. All APIs are gated by role-based access control. This layer implements authentication and authorization configuration such as configuration of user roles and permissions within the system. All APIs into the system is also logged for auditing purposes. Well, I hope this gives you an idea of what PSM is. To know more about Pensando offering, please visit pensando.io. Thank you for listening. Vipin, thank you so much for this very clear explanation. I hope our viewer enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to follow me on my blog on GitHub pages. It is silvanoguy.github.io and subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button on the screen. Thank you so much for listening. I hope it was interesting.